Welcome to another VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery product demonstration. Today we will focus on health checks, reports, and status checking. Building and maintaining a DR solution that is continuously checked, well documented, and running as expected helps improve the organization's DR readiness and raises the level of confidence that the system will work as planned should a disaster arise. In this demonstration, we will explore the various built-in health checks, reports, and status monitoring capabilities of VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery that enable a greater degree of visibility into the overall health and readiness of the solution. We will explore how to review the status of VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery components and operations, monitor the VM protection policies, overall readiness of the DR plans, and monitor events and alarms in the system. We'll look at enabling email alerts for various conditions and how to produce runbooks, health check reports, and track configuration changes. Let's start at the top level in the SAS Orchestrator dashboard. This management interface runs in the cloud independent of the configured protected sites and recovery sites. This gives us a system-wide view of current components, sites, and operational status. The global summary provides a synopsis of the key components of VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery. This includes overall system health, cloud backup storage consumption, this is the scale out cloud file system, protected sites and recovery SDDCs enabled for DR configurations, protection VM coverage based on the protection groups defined for those protected sites, and DR plans in the inventory. Green check marks indicate good operational health. If there were a problem in an area, we could easily navigate into the associated detail view. On the right-hand side, we see a list of currently running tasks, as well as recently finished tasks, and any recent alarms. These lists track the recent activity in VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery System. From the dashboard, we can navigate to other functional areas for operations, administration, and as we'll see here, health checks, reports, and status. Let's look closer at protection groups. From the protection groups list view, we can see the current status of each protection policy that has been defined and which protected site it is associated with. For the example here, they are all of type on-prem site and replicating their changed data sets to the scale out cloud file system called cloud backup. If there were any issues, we could navigate into the affected protection group and review the history or details of any of the individual snapshots. A healthy OK status in the health column indicates that the policies are running on schedule as defined. Let's now navigate over to the DR plans view. This is where most of the details we are interested in will be found. In this view, we start with an overall DR plan list, which displays the current state of each of the defined DR plans. The plan status shows which plans are enabled and ready to fail over or test. The plans can be in a number of different states depending on the current conditions. For details on the other states, please consult the product documentation. The other key indicator in this view is the compliance status in the right-hand column of the main window. DR health checks run against active plans every 30 minutes and check the operational readiness of the plans in several key areas that we will explore in just a bit. One other operational characteristic shown in this view is the protected site, usually the on-prem data center location or an SDDC from another region, and recovery site, usually the target SDDC. If the SDDC does not exist, this field will be empty and the full DR health check will be incomplete. Next, we will explore an individual DR plan. Let's pick the apps plan. The DR health check status is really obvious in this view. If we click the show button near the green check mark, we'll get a more detailed view of the health checks being performed. The checks cover four main areas, the protected site, the recovery site, the orchestration steps, and VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery component integration status. Each of the checks actually has several lower level checks conducted. It's possible to download the health check report as a PDF and share with others or file as desired. The report has a timestamp and summary information as well for easy tracking. In this view on the plan details menu bar is a reports tab. 
There are two types of plan reports available here, run and configuration history. These run reports are generated anytime this plan is executed for either testing or failover operations. This provides a useful audit trail history of the plan. Similar to the health check report, this automatically generated report can also be downloaded as PDF and shared or filed as desired. Run reports contain critical timing and task tracking information to provide insight into the plan details, as well as the overall plan execution results. This is essentially your run book, documentation of plan testing or actual failover operations. These run reports are also generated for plans used to fail back from the cloud to on-prem locations. The DR plan run report covers these basic areas each time the plan is executed. The plan scope, a failover action summary with times and results, failover mappings from site to site, workflow steps and failover execution timings and step-by-step -step details, and an error log. The other type of report in this view is the configuration report. Each time a plan is changed and saved, a new version of the plan configuration report is created with a timestamp. This provides better tracking for basic change control purposes. The last area to look at in the DR plans view is the plan itself. Let's edit the plan and review the alerts settings. It's here that you can build in email notification triggers for the plans in your environment. Simply configure one or more recipients in the orchestrator setup to receive email alerts. Then for each plan, choose what triggers you want included. These can be for regular health check operations or for plan execution changes. When something changes in the plans, your team will be alerted automatically. One last health and status area within the orchestrator UI worth exploring is the monitoring view. In this view, we can review all events and alarms presented by the system. With some basic filtering, grouping, and level selection, it is possible to narrow down the view and focus on specific operations or areas where attention might be needed. Let's review what we have covered in this demonstration. From the SAS Orchestrator UI, we can easily see and review the status of VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery components and operations, track the on-prem application VM protection policies, the protection groups, monitor the overall readiness status of the DR plans defined, produce detailed health check reports, execution runbooks, and plan configuration reports that are ready to download and share. Set up email alert mechanisms for your administrative team and review events and alarms for all parts of the VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery Setup. This level of visibility, detail, and tracking make VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery easier to manage and provide a higher degree of confidence that when disaster arises, you will be prepared for recovery to the cloud. Thank you.